a toxic relationship, there is difference between a jealous woman or a lady or a jealous guy, if you're having a, you know, whatsoever. Like, um, you were saying something that, oh, when a girl smile at me, the way I smile back at her, yeah, I smile back at her because my belief is she appreciate whatsoever she sees or she's trying being human and I'm doing the same way. We're living in a world whereby normally people should be smiling when they see each other. But we, we're getting it, we, we're living in the, we're living in, a, in, in, um, in the generation whereby when you see everyone is, everyone is miserable. You're walking in London, people are miserable. They're not smiling. So in that kind of way, you met one person that is actually give you a smile, like you're going to smile back. Come on, where's the respect? No. Not there are there, 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 that's not true. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. There are there are ways. There are how do I put it? Um there is there are ways you can disrespect a woman and there are ways that you're not disrespecting. It depends on how you do what you do. See, uh, the, the, what, what I'm trying to sorry, I'm just um um I just had to come in there. The the point I'm trying to bring here is you can allow another if you are the man. If you allow another woman disrespect your woman, so now I'm not saying not just you disrespecting your woman, the other woman has also disrespected your woman. Because it's like you're walking in the park, the girl looks at you, eye contact, there's a lot that has happened there. It's not just a smile. Eye contact, a smile, then you return back that smile and you, you, know, you, you go through. Your woman is by your side and she's like, what just happened here? So what if I was not here, mm -hmm. right? So now your woman feels disrespected, not just from you, but from also the other woman. So imagine, let's change it around. You're walking in the park, your wife is on your side. There's this good looking guy, you know, six packs guy and come in and he looks at your woman and smiles, eye contact, and pass and she smiles back. And then you go and you be like, I I, I, I'm gonna feel disrespected. I, can I cut you there? This is why I said there are different people. That's why we are different people. That's why we react to things differently. One, if a cis bad guy is standing there and he's um, looking at my woman and smiling, what can I do? Will I go fight him? Will I, be, will I, will I, am I gonna straight away Start, you know, yelling at her and make her feel, you know, even worse. What, what can I do if a man, if a woman is looking at me and giving me that face? So you mean you don't see anything wrong in it? I don't see anything wrong in it. It depends on how you taking it. That's why he okay. spoke about the respect thing. Yeah, respect, yeah. Doesn't okay. mean if you're next to your woman in that circumstance and a man smiles, we're not talking about a friendly smile. But are we gonna we're go talking walk about a more flirtatious yeah. smile. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not about... It's not a, it's, <coughs> okay, not, okay. Not, in that, that circumstances, okay, let's put... Let's say the guy... The guy is clearly being disrespectful, but he's shooting his shot. Now it's up to the woman to respect you in that scenario by not engaging in that flirtatious exactly. smile yeah fine that's what we're that talking about that one is different. With your scenario, you mentioned that the lady was beautiful. beautiful. She's, yeah. she's, you, you appreciated her uh, body. No, uh, no, and no, then no, you no, responded no, 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 back no, no. to when her say, smile by so giving her back that wait, same wait. No, 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 you're getting gesture. You're which not, you're actually which that's get, where he came up with the whole disrespect. No, you're actually not getting what I was saying. Yeah? A woman look at you. I didn't check her body or whatsoever. I look at her face when she... I, I didn't have the time to quickly look at her body. Come on. That's how you mentioned. Yeah, you made no, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no, no. it. No, 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 no. I don't look, I don't look all those things. Being honest, I don't look all those things, to be honest. I wasn't looking at that. I wasn't even there. I wasn't even there, to be honest. I wasn't even there. She just looked at me, smiled at me. You know? Sometimes you are in a position whereby you don't get that often because you're living with somebody doesn't mean she's smiling. You could be living with a very miserable person. Yeah, no, I, I see. It could be, and I'm not saying don't smile at people when they smile at you, but in the context of 
She's very beautiful and she yeah, so she's and beautiful. Like, yeah. I see I see more as flirty no, than fl flirting than I was young. I, I was young. I was very yeah. young. I was like 19, 18 at that time. Yeah. But still, the person gave me a smile. I wouldn't I wouldn't return that smile with something else. I would want to respond. It now depends know, on it now depends on if, if she they shoot short. I would know. Say she they shoot short. You know if you just see me one time, like I make you just they shoot short anyhow. Do you understand where it's I'm coming from? You, you know, one of the one of the things okay. I want to link it to uh, yeah. being toxic. You know, one of the things that thing can cause is that you cannot control what goes on in the mind of your woman. Yes. Yeah. There will be a lot of assumptions. And most especially when that woman were unable to confront you and discuss that matter with you and it goes on like that unresolved um stuff like that can get a woman or a man to a point of being toxic you cannot control because it's an assumption she can just assume that that's the way you do you flirt with everybody and the cost is not discussed so i i i think i think in that point, if I'm the woman, I want to discuss that matter when we get to sit down. It's what not, is it? It's not an easy Are you thing now to see? Do. This is where I'm coming she from. She didn't discuss no matter with me that's them the time. No, no, that's I that's, took. That's, that's 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 she not discuss okay. anything, and I will tell you what happened. She slapped me. Okay, that's what you need to understand now. That's why I wanted to bring so that his was point of insecurity. Me. Yeah, he mentioned insecurity before. You've mentioned age. You brag about how when you were younger, you look at you, you're tall, dark and handsome. No. But no, no. <laughs> no, 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 listen, no, 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 I'm no. trying to make a point here. No, you're listen, younger, when you're, you're, you're younger, younger yeah. you're in your prime. You, you have this self-appreciation of who you are. You know what you can get. Mm. Like, look at I me, mean, look at you, you're in your late 30s, I'm, I presume, and you still look fine. So imagine when you were younger, you probably better than you are now. So... At that age, whoever is with you, there will be some level of insecurity because exactly. they have you, but they know that you know you're good, so you can easily get someone else. So you need to understand that also age and self-aware. When you grow up, you will be more aware of who you are, what you like. But when we're younger, we do enter in relationships, but toxicity tends to emerge a lot earlier on why because we're still figuring out who we are how to react to situations we're still not aware of our self-worth in that scenario i believe that because you're young you're attractive a beautiful woman has looked at you and smiled back it's gonna make her feel a type of way and i feel like what you think you fully didn't understand is that she was insecure and that's why she couldn't really communicate that with you and th that's why we speak about trust we speak about understanding knowing mm, what you want true. she don't you don't know your woman you at that time you don't know her I because know if you did you would have understood know. that in that scenario that is what made her that. angry but now someone will look at her in that scenario and be like she's being toxic because she's just she slapped you but we as women i'm not going to lie i'm a reactionist like when something happened i react which is something i'm trying to work on but so i react i won't slap but you I'll can't say, say yes or no but, <laughs> but, but, yeah. but you don't know how you react okay. when but I, I definitely know that i will react but not positive I've, okay I've seen, okay I've seen the love. okay she reacted by yeah. slapping me and another lady that i don't even know from nowhere reacted by telling her if you put your hands on him again i'm actually gonna knock you out it's not going to change that I love big ass. Not big ass, ass with good shape. It's not going to change that, that I love a woman with a nice shape. That's not going to change. It's never going to change. It's either I watch it alone or you watch it with me. <laughs> so you choose one. So that's how it goes. Anyways, that's all I've got to say. So yeah, I'm a good guy. I'm a good man. You know, I'm a good father. But it's never going to change that I love, I, I love, I love something that God created that is beautiful. So I'm not saying I want to touch you or I want to feel it. But if you don't want to watch it with me, I watch it alone. It's going to be my alone to watch. So yeah, I, I, love, I love women with a you know, nice shape, nice figure. Because, you know, that means I'm appreciating the kind of, you know, the kind of woman that they are. Like what God has created. So it is what it is.
She beats me all the time. Every time I can't do anything right. Why don't you ask your boyfriend to take you to the hospital? That is the question. Look at how long your hair is. Everybody say yeah. yeah. It's okay. Where's Nikiki? Your dad wasn't lying when he said you're the spitting image of your mother, was he? <laughs> Mama, please, 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 and every day you learn something new about yourself. The person I was before I became a mom is completely, I feel like it's completely different from who I am now. No. My likes, my dislikes, even how I dress. Like before, I used to be that girl, short, 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 but now I don't even want to catch it. And anyone around me knows that. I used to be tolerant of people that smoke, but right now I don't even want to catch anyone. So I repeat it all the time. So this is a question, especially to those that are married, not, not necessarily dating just married people Th those who get into marriage and then have kids and they become fat or their wife have stretch marks and things like that you will not like that there are certain things that just who you are as a person you might not you come to find out that you don't like it but you know in marriage is for life to do or die so some people say that that relationship is toxic because you're remaining in it once you find out that you don't like something about someone, you can't just bounce like you would expect from someone to just leave a normal relationship. So you call that relationship toxic because they're not living a, a, a clear relationship that they're not compatible. So do you guys, will you guys still class that type of relationship now that they've discovered themselves that they are different, but they can't live because of the, the bond that, that marital vows, like they can't live because you have to. No. No. We that's, used to consider that toxic. That's not toxic. That's a growth. That's that's a change. There is different don't don't um don't um how do I put it? Don't mistake in toxic to growth. Don't mistake growth to changes. That's a change in the relationship. When ego sorry, let me put it this way. When you go with your man, maybe them time he's got no my hair like this. And as time goes on in life, he can't be asked anymore. He left his beard, he left his hair, he just wants some, something to change with. You had the child, you have stretch mark and that. That's not disease. That's a natural, that's something that comes with the blessing that you've received, with, that's come with your growth. Well, the man don't understand that that's a blessing. Or the girl is not fat and the man don't yeah. understand that. That's when it's going to become toxic. But this is changes. This is change still. It's still a change. So but that's the my only question. time wait the only time it become toxic the only time that will become toxic is when it's having a big issue with that and the issue will be see how she fat now look you now that's mentally she is start to abuse her mentally emotionally but sometimes men are not very used to But that's the question I'm asking though. I'm saying that when you reach a stage where there's a fundamental change, that's why I use the changes of childbirth, I choose the changes of age and your size and weight. Mm. Those are like very fundamental changes that some people, like me, I cannot even stand to have be fat. So I feel like if I can be fat or if someone I'm dating is fat, I don't think I can ever truly be okay, even, mm. even if I have a civilized conversation with mm. them. This is me. Mm. Now, I'm getting to a marriage, I've discussed that. And the person's like, okay, fine. But once the reality kicks in, like I've actually gotten pregnant and he sees, that's not who they got married to. Mm. That's not who they were attracted to. Okay. Now, he's not going to treat me no, no, before you the get, way let me quickly, he would I, have I don't want to. you to get yeah, to yeah. that. Let me get to, that's not who they married to. Mm. Eh? So, before you marry, you know, think I'm saying, you go. You will have child one day. You don't know that women always have stretch mark. Some men don't. I think from some men I don't. Think. I wouldn't. So before somebody go into sorry, before somebody has a has 
impregnate a woman, you should expect a lot of things. Because one, she's carrying another human being in her. In the first place. But not everybody is exposed to that. Yeah. Then they, they shouldn't have, they shouldn't get married. Yeah, they shouldn't be with no woman. Me. Her question is more about what we'll do when, when all that has happened. When you discover something now, new about... If no, he wants think, to make a change, what, sorry, what, Abdul. If he wants to make a change, yeah, when she gives birth to the child and she's better, she's better in herself and she's fit to train and whatsoever, take her to the gym. Yeah, no, uh, well, uh, I, and, I think, I think... And help the, her with the, her diet. No, the, 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 the question is, you know, sorry, not, not sorry, not the question. There are different triggers. I just see that as one, maybe probably, it could be a trigger to someone. But not everyone. It could be a trigger to now start saying, I'm changing towards the person I married. Oh, she's growing fat and all that. Mm -hmm. Some people, it might be a trigger to some people, but that brings up the question is, who did you marry? Did you actually love that person? What, what is beauty to you in the first place? So it, it, when, when I, I don't see beauty as just the outer the side. You can be pretty. Yeah. yeah. But when you're beautiful, it's Inside inner and, and out. out. You know? Like Yorubas will say, Iwalewa. Wow. Character. Right? So, my, my wife has added in size since we got married. When I married her, she was, she was this limo and all that. I have added as well. But because I know who she is, the inner person, you know, I see her, I still admire her every day. She's got the stretch marks and everything, right? But I still admire her. She's my soulmate. Right, but I don't see it as, oh, sure, a lot of people go to wherever it is, you know, that insecurity thing we're talking about comes back now. They go to wherever it is, Turkey and all those places, they go and do all those jobs to feel, so, some of them might do it because of insecurity, some of them might do it because of health reasons, some of them might just do it because they want to look good, right? But you just be you. Your husband or your wife, if you marry them for the right reason in the first place, then whatever the change is. We're even talking about stretch mark. What if it's an accident and she that's that that is and what I'm talking about. So legs. those are just examples. Yeah. So they're just fundamental changes yeah. that is it's not that's what I say you discover things about yourself, right? I, I didn't think I'm gonna be that type of person that would um be shallow about physical looks. You get what I mean? You can we underestimate the, the, the power of attraction. We underestimate the power of sex, for example. Most people, after getting pregnant or after getting married, become lazy, become tired. They don't want to do it anymore. You know, For me, those things are very important in a relationship. That's what makes the relationship. Let's, not be, let's, not, let's be factual. Let's be real. Those things are very, very important. People have broken up because of sexual frustration. Now, if you discover that you're that type after marriage. This, this, this is a new discovery about yourself. That after marriage, this is, so, this is who you are. This is what you want. Your partner is not giving it to you. So your, your treatment towards them will automatically change. change. Yeah. Now, as the other partner, you can't just leave. In a westernized world, it's easy for them to be like, oh, get divorced. But let's, we are Africans, let's be real. It's like a taboo for us to get divorced back home, especially when you've done a whole traditional marriage with the ancestors and everything. It's hard to just Normally, when you're just person. married as an African, you don't marry. Yes, in our exactly. Own, yeah. So what do you, well, do we call that type of relationship toxic because the person has now changed that behavior towards you or should we just say it's just marriage? I think, I think um, change is constant in life. They are bound to change. Thank you. Even the hair changes. Everything about us Don't get smoke here. always change. <laughs> so the problem is many people does not appreciate the change that comes and they become chained in their mentality. The truth of the matter is that when you begin to uh, give birth, your, your physical will change. That's why he mentioned something that um, what, what is beauty to you? Is it the physical appearance? If it is physical appearance, it will, it will disappear like this in no time. Just give it five years. You will, like you were mentioning that you don't want to be fat. There is, see, there is, there is, there is nature. Some things, we, if you give birth, you can't, that's not the way you're going to be. That is, that is not the way you're going to be. 
we need to move our love level from the physical appearance to something tangible, to something, yeah. to something that is not temporal. If it is temporal, that's where the frustration will always come in. So I think our love should, we should define what is love to me. One of the problems we have is that we don't really, really know what love is to us. We define love in different Our forms. Mm. We define if you if you if you ask somebody what is love, you say love is big yash. Love is sex. <laughs> love is love is love is uh, somebody that is slim. Somebody you begin to define, and those things can easily change. You mentioned if somebody has an accident, it's not something you plan for. In relationship, there are many many things we do not plan for that we will see. Hmm. Many, 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 many well, things. Yeah. You will see them. Yes. Sometimes you don't plan that you lose your job. At the end of the day, you will lose your job. Mm -hmm. If it is the job you, the person marry, that's ah, because he's working money. in so-so-so place. That's why I love him. If you lose that job, there will be a lot of Problem. frustration. No, the ego leave. The ego leave <laughs> you understand? And mm. don't forget, in relationship, we come with two baggages. The assets and the liabilities. You cannot change it. You cannot. You cannot say okay. You cannot just say one. You have to take the truth. Just like you want a, a someone pray for long life. If you pray for long life, it's a blessing. There is also a body. Mm -hmm. When you start growing, you will not be able to walk yourself. Where you want to go is not where they will take you. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? What I'm saying you don't want to. You want to live long, but you have wrinkles. You will have gray hair. You will change drastically. You will change drastically. Yeah. It, there is a blessing, you, you there is a burden. Exactly. Well. Just relationship, assets. Just that, you just need to understand which one, which are the assets. You take more of asset than liability. Like for me, character is a collateral to me. Mm. I don't treat it with anything. So, the person I want to marry, I want to know that this person has a very good character. Every other thing can be managed, but character can be managed. Yes. Character is like a flame. Yes. It will come out. Mm. You understand? So, but there are some other things that um, maybe sometimes it's just get paranoid. You can still manage that, mm. but there are basic things like character that you cannot change. So, you marry assets, you also manage the liability. Yeah.